everyone, it's Masterpiece, and today I have another Black Series review. This time, it's going to be the 13th Battalion Trooper from the Gaming Greats line. We first saw this trooper in uh, the video game Jedi Fallen Order. As you can see, it's number 12 in the Gaming Greats line. There's a side mural. Not too much to show on the top, the side neither. Small little bio there. You can pause now if you want to read it. And then there's all the barcodes, warning signs, and price I paid for it, $27.99. Geez, these are getting really expensive, but Let's see what's inside. All right, here he is. He only comes with one blaster, the DC-15, which is all right. We only really see them with those blasters. The yellow is somewhat of a darker yellow, kind of like a mustard yellow. It still looks great. We can never have too many clones in my opinion. I'm gonna do a few more poses and probably compare them with some more other figures that I have. Here's the first pose. Have them kind of doing an action pose right here. I think it's good to mention that this is a sturdy figure. You can do all kinds of poses with him. And there's the third pose. And here I brought the Umbra Operative, also from the Gaming Greats line. Here I have him posed with Boba Fett.
So there's nothing new in terms of uh, points of articulation. It's all the same from all the previous clone troopers that we've had. Um, just feels more sturdier, which is really good. But yeah, if you really want me to go over that, then there's an ankle, knee, hip, nothing new. Same with the uh, waist. Hand. Elbow. Shoulder. And head. Great points of articulation. So that's it for this review. What did you guys think? Did you guys find your 13th Battalion Trooper yet? And well, if you do, will you be getting it? Let me know what you guys think. Hello.